Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use two different main types of tofu. A lot of people buy tofu and then they have no idea how to use it. So this is going to be an introductory video for anybody who is trying to figure out how to use their tofu and has no idea and doesn't really know where to turn. I'm also going to be sharing a delicious marinade with you and I think you're really going to love it. So let's get started. So this is the type of tofu that is most commonly available in most supermarkets. Yes, there is water inside of there. If you, you think that there's water, you are correct. And we're actually going to uh, drain that out. And so there I am stabbing it, and we're going to drain it out. I spilled some. Oh, no. I have to hide that the rest of the video. For shame. Now I'm going to place the tofu on the drip spot so we can pretend that never happened. Uh, and um, that's the tofu once it's drained, but that is not nearly drained enough. We're actually going to continue to get more water out of it. So you could use a tofu press if you want to, but I don't have one. Most people probably don't have one. Most vegans probably don't even have one. So here I'm just, I have a uh, cutting board with a hand towel on it, and then I'm going to place a paper towel on top of the hand towel, and that's because you don't want hand towel fibers in your tofu. That is gross. So now I'm just going to place the tofu on top of the paper towel and then I'm going to add another paper towel on the top of that. You're basically making a, a layered cake of tofu awesomeness. That's what we're calling it. There you go. Bam. And then there will be another hand towel on top of that one. And there it is. There's the hand towel. You just plop that sucker on top and give it a little pat for good luck. And so on top of this one, I'm going to place another cutting board. So the very last layer of the super weird tofu press is a weight. You don't have to use an actual literal weight. You could use a heavy book. I've used a stack of plates before rather than actually the cutting board and the weight. So you can use a lot of things. You just don't want it to be too heavy so it crushes it, but heavy enough to where it actually presses the extra liquid out of the tofu. And that's what it looks like from a variety of angles. So this is the high protein tofu. It is much easier to work with. Uh, it is much firmer and uh, thicker than the tofu that is in water. And um, tofu comes in a, a wide range of consistencies. And this is the one I would recommend for anybody who's new at using tofu, just because it's probably the most like what you're used to eating in terms of meat as a meat replacer. So all I'm gonna do here is cut open the tofu Yep, those are scissors, and I'm showing you them again, because I'm not sure why, to be honest. Yep, there you go, you just cut it open, and I'm showing you the tofu. Here you can see there is a lot less liquid and water to deal with than the other tofu had, so it's much simpler to work with. So all I did was pour the liquid out and remove the block of tofu. There's nothing dripping from it. If I had done this with the other block, it would have had water dripping from the tofu. And there I'm trying to show you how little water it had. I mean, it barely, I mean, you really can't even tell that it made the paper towel damp. So thankfully, you do not have to press this one at all. So now I'm just going to show you the marinade, which is two and a half cups of orange juice. And you don't have to put it in a pitcher like this, but I thought it would be visually the easiest for the video. I know orange juice sounds like a super weird thing to start with, but I promise you it is going to be a delicious, savory marinade that you are going to love. So the next ingredient is just a fourth of a cup of soy sauce. And I know you're probably thinking that's still a lot of sodium, even though you were using the low sodium version. There's no way that your tofu will soak in all of that soy sauce. It's just, it's not going to happen. So because it's diluted, you are going to want that amount in there. And next, I'm just going to add a half a cup of water to dilute down the uh, orange juice a little bit. You don't want it to be too orange juicy or sweet. And so this is going to allow it to still have that really great flavor that's going to make this really savory, but not make it too overwhelming and just like a dessert. And so the next ingredient and the last ingredient is actually two tablespoons of garlic powder. And again, I know that probably sounds like a lot of garlic powder, but because it's going to be diluted in the water, you're going to want that amount so that the you get some garlic flavor into the tofu. So here I am just whisking it up a little bit, and uh, this just helps mix the flavors. The garlic powder will settle back down uh, to the bottom, and I'm going to mix it up a second time as I'm pouring it in to help prevent a gigantic clump of garlic powder in one area, but I just kind of like to help mix the flavors around a little bit before I do that. 
And so now we are back to our janky tofu press and I'm just kind of unwrapping it and showing you how much water came out of the tofu. And this is why this process is so important because you do not really want to serve that. That's not something that you're going to find appetizing. Most people are not going to find appetizing. And if you're going to marinate it, as I recommend, there's no way you can get the flavor into the tofu if it's already filled with some other liquid. So that is why we press it in order to get the flavor in there and so it tastes delicious. So it didn't really pick up on camera, but that is completely soaked through. You can still see it on the cutting board, uh, which I'll show you here in a second. It made it all the way through to the cutting board. And again, that's how much liquid is in the tofu. And that also kind of shows the dramatic difference between the high protein tofu and the one that's in water. So now I'm just chopping up some of the tofu. There really aren't any rules with this. You just want to chop it into cubes if you want. Um, I like big cubes or you could do strips. Um, it really just kind of depends on you know what what you want it to be like. If you want your tofu to be a little bit more magical you could use a cookie cutter and cut it out in a fun design like a unicorn. Yeah that's pretty cool and then you can see in the bottom right hand corner that there's a bunch of extra like stuff. That was just the access that came off. Um, that's my cute little unicorn tofu. I'm gonna make another video with that, so stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see my unicorn tofu in action. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't want that, huh? And now I'm just going to put them in a container. Normally, I would put them in the same container, but I actually uh, I didn't plan this video super well, and that was dirty. So the unicorn tofu is in its own section, and the cube depth one is in its own as well. And if you are gonna put them in one container, I would definitely suggest putting the decorative tofu on top so that when we come to strain it, it's not going to completely destroy it because that would not be a fun thing to do. All right, so now I'm just going to pour in the marinade. I'm not sure if you can tell, but I am actually mixing that up, and uh, yep, it got everywhere. Oh, great. Uh, so I'm just going to mix all that in and um, there's not actually enough marinade. Again, normally I put these in the same container, but because it's not in the same container, there's not really enough marinade to go around. So with both of these, I just flip them upside down halfway or whenever I'm in the fridge getting something else out, I'll just flip them over as they're marinating so that way it can really coat all of the tofu. You can marinate your tofu for however long you'd like, but I tend to do it for 12 to 24 hours. Sometimes I do it longer than that, but not often just because I want to eat my food, you know what I mean? So after the tofu has been marinated, I just take a colander and gently uh, pour the tofu in there. Again, if you have some decorative tofu, you may want to be careful with that, but uh, I just did those two separately on this occasion. Now I've just evenly dispersed my tofu on a greased baking sheet lined with tin foil. For the love of God, do not bake your tofu with this marinade on a baking sheet without greasing it and putting it on tin foil. You will, you will hate me if you don't do that and you will also regret ever watching this video. And that's not things that I want, so please, please do that. Please, please do the things I'm saying. Thank you. Thank you and good night. You want to place your tofu in a preheated oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. After it's been in for 20 minutes, you want to go ahead and remove it and then you're going to flip it. It's not going to all flip evenly. It's not going to be perfect. It's okay. You can even see some are on top of each other. Um, the only thing you want to be careful about is like the, again, the decorative tofu, you may break it. Again, you don't have to do the decorative stuff. It's just really fun. So if you don't want to break that, just be careful about it. And then you want to put that back in the oven for another 15 minutes. And this is what it looks like when it's out of the oven and it's completely finished. Um, and that is how you tofu. That's how you use it. That's how you prepare it. And I hope you guys enjoy this really delicious recipe. Please be sure to subscribe and uh, ding the bell button so you can get a notification. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.